So going back to the whole loot box issue that we've discussed in previous videos, it looks like we got another mobile gacha game that's uh, taking a bit of heat and it's actually getting hit by this whole uh, fiasco. Um, Bleach Brave Souls by K-Lab Games looks to be the next victim. As you can see right there. Thank you for playing Ble Bleach Brave Souls. Under the laws and ordinances of certain countries. Can you focus please? Loot boxes understood to be any in-game function whereby the player receives random items are now considered to be a form of gambling. In line with this, we plan to implement an update sometime in June to limit purchase options for the effective countries in the following ways. Buttons that transition to the Spirit Orbs purchasing screen will be disabled. Packs available for the sale in the summons or, so or shop screens will not be displayed. Shop buttons that transition to packs for sale or the Spirit Orbs purchasing screen will not be displayed. We apologize for any inconvenience that this may cause and hope you continue to enjoy the game. Basically, they're taking out every single way to purchase in-game currency for this game. And I believe, did they say they were taking out? Okay, they're not taking out the summoning section of the game. They're just taking out the ways to purchase items in the game. Um, this is... Uh, not the first game that's that's been hit uh, we had many bandai games get hit by this in uh in what was it belgium and uh and various other countries um we're gonna be seeing this a lot more often now come june i'm not sure if that is gonna apply to the u.s i i don't know at this point it's all up in the air until June rolls around and we get to see what happens moving forward with K-Lab games and, and, you know, other games as well. I mean, it's uh, it's an issue that they are not taking lightly and I don't blame them. I believe that it is gambling as, as much as I do enjoy playing some of these games. Most of the time, you're throwing money away in the hopes of... That you might have a chance of getting what you want. And most of the time you end up not. Like you get other things instead. Or just useless items or useless characters that serve no purpose other than maybe character fodder. And there's no excuse for that. There's no excuse. And it was only a matter of time before we started to see this in various games. So... I'm hoping that it transitions more and more into console games and we start seeing more and more games following suit where they remove the microtransactions and make various changes that are very much needed in the video game industry. Uh, yes, I know that that's how companies make their money, but there are other ways for them to make their money instead of resorting to to gambling tactics feeding off of people's addictions i know it's a sore subject i know some of you guys don't mind it the gasha i i don't know how you don't mind it i really don't but to each their own i guess and uh this will be a subject that we're going to keep talking about until things are changed so with that, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new. I know it's a rather short video, but I just wanted to point that out that we have another game that is getting hit because of this whole fiasco. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I will catch you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great rest of your day, night, whatever time zone you're at. Peace out, guys.